All right, everyone, a quick update on ZRX. So a couple of things on the chart to point out here. First off, the first thing I noticed is this big green wick here. So maybe in store for something like this, big green wick is always a bear sign that you're going to push down, but not all the time. You can see here, giant wick here, red candle, a bunch of people probably got out and then it just continued up. So, I mean, you never know with these kind of things. Uh, it is crypto. So really the only thing you can watch, this orange line that we have here on the chart, if we switch out to the weekly chart, something to just point out, you are uh, at this area from 31 up to about 32, 33 is macro resistance here. So you can see this orange line on the weekly chart here. We do have a bunch of support and resistance along this price area. So I wanted to point that out there, switching back over to the daily chart. Uh, I mean, it does look good at the moment. Everything's kind of curling up. MACD's going vertical. The 21 and the 50 here are curled up and going vertical. So as soon as these cross over the 200 day moving average and continue their journey up, uh, if the price does come down, it's just gonna help push the price higher at when they find support there. So it looks good. I mean, I don't see any reason besides this candle here and macro resistance that this thing is gonna actually pull back here. So let's fix this here. And from the low to the high here, if you do end up pulling back from this uh, orange line here, uh, the 786 here at 28.8 is actually your 382 retracement. So uh, I'm looking for the 786 at 28.8 to hold for support. So you may come down here about 7% and then bounce and then continue your journey to the moon on ZRX here. So just kind of watch that. If you lose 28.8, you can clearly see the uh, 618 down here at 26 would be your next stop. And we also do have this uptrend that I drew here in play. So if you do in fact crawl back down here, just watch for this uptrend to hold. But I would guess that these moving averages should hold as support as long as they keep their uh, their momentum to the upside. So it has the momentum, it has the trend and the push to go higher at the moment. So just watch these prices to the downside. And then this little box here, anything from uh, uh, 31 up to about 32.3 needs to break. We need to close over this and then you'll continue higher on ZRX. So not financial advice. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.